Uh, okay, so what I've done is <laughs> love playing Minecraft, uh, but it gets kind of boring, right? Vanilla, because there's not a lot to do. And I'm not going to just log in for creative mode. That's not my jam. So I decided to look and see if there's, you know, it's been around, Minecraft's been around for what, 10, 12 years? And uh, so. I decided to look in and see if there's any kind of mod packs that are available nowadays to make uh, Minecraft more RPG friendly, fantasy, Skyrim y type stuff. So I found a mod pack called Fantasy Realm, and it combines like 500 other mods in order to create. 80 new biomes, 300 quests, all kinds of new materials, um, mine colonies so that you can create your own towns and have NPCs work in your town, uh, create multiple colonies, have them ship and stuff between them. There's boss fights, there's massive drops, there's rare items, there's there's all kinds of stuff in this mod pack, uh, and so cool. <laughs> Did it really just do that? Who cares? Nobody wants to see me anyway. Um, and so when you load, um, when when you first load this to have it make a map. It, it creates a lots of it tries to put 80 different biomes in a real close proximity and I didn't like that so I started over with in the settings I adjusted it to say large biomes so that I'll have bigger areas of the areas I do like and don't like so I started earlier and I just wanted to get started uh, with this because uh, it's a fun game. I really like it. Like I said, it's it's fun to to explore and get things uh, built, like cities and fortresses and all kinds of stuff. So I I wanted to start out just bank blank f fresh on a on a brand new map. But uh, when you when you do that, it's it's kind of it's Minecraft, right? It's kind of boring. There's lots of tunneling. There's lots of t tree chopping. There's lots of stuff that you're doing, um, and so. I decided to, to run out or, and a little bit and explore. Uh, one of the things, when you start the game, you get this book. It's a quest book, and if you click on it, you get this nice, cool menu that co comes up. And the first thing you want to do is pick your class. I picked Scout this time, uh, and it gives you a crate. Once you open that crate, you get a bunch of specialty items for that class. And for the Scout, you get speed boots. So walking is equivalent to running, but it's nice because I don't have to use the stamina for running. Um, so you can come to your, your book quite often. You can see in the upper right hand corner, I've got a bag with an exclamation point. And if I come over here, it'll tell me some of the things that I've earned. So uh, I, I, f I got some of these spawner shards by destroying a spawner. And so I get the reward for that. And then I did, some, oh, I made a cutting board. And so I get some food, you know, some, some supplies Oh, I do have. Let's take that. Uh, now, a lot of the stuff I don't know what it does. I don't know what pris, pris, prismarine crystals do. Uh, one cool thing is that if you click on something and hold shift, It'll give you a little more information about that. So if there's something new in here that you don't know what it does, uh, you can just shift, left shift, and it'll give you some more information. Now, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Let me uh, close that trap door and sleep. Uh, we're just out exploring, and that's, that's the other thing, is when you do with these colonies, you need to have, or you should, it, it's recommended that you have nice, big, open fields or a large area in which to do that. You don't want to do this in a really hilly place. Um, you see here, this I, I found this uh, house out here in the middle of nowhere, and there's an NPC. Now, if I feed him items, he'll become my friend, and he'll follow me, and he'll, he'll fight, uh, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and so I was, I was just running around and I found this little hut and these are all over the place and it's got a bed and uh, if you break this uh, carpet tile right here sometimes sometimes there's a little dungeon down here and it's got a chest I already cleaned it out but then you can free out the uh, person or the zombie thing and once you clear him out of his cage uh, you can now trade with him it doesn't really give you a whole lot I don't have any uh, oops I don't have any gem I'm emerald zombie so anyway so I decided to go I was just trying to explore and find some area that I could uh, I was actually just looking for carrots out in the wild so that I could eat but now that I've gotten this reward and let's put these back away so uh, if you hit M you've got a map and I started here and kind of built a little tunneling system to about here underground. It wasn't very fruitful. I didn't, I couldn't find anything. Uh, so I, I saw just this little edge of this house on the map and I'm like, well, I need sticks. Uh, and so there's nothing here. So I, I came over and started to go down into the map and here's where I died. So I need to try to go back over there. Uh, there's a house here, and there's a apple, a big tree here, and a tree here. You get you get familiar with what these things are. Uh, there's another house. Uh, this is a tower, and we'll go to it. And then this here, I can tell, is a, a portal that's not complete. Um, these kind of scatter the the realms as well. So uh, I don't have my speed boots. So I gotta walk clear back, run clear back over there with no gear. See what happens. <clears throat> uh, you can place markers on the tower, so I know this is where I want to go. And let's put tower. We'll just put that there. And now when I'm looking, I can see that and aim towards it, which is kind of handy at first. But after you play for a while, you've got a dozen or more. Um, pins all over the place and it gets a little ugly that's all right uh, they got these little rivers and ravines <laughs> I guess it's kind of fun but it's also kind of a big pain oh the fairy there's a there's a little fairy you got to be careful with these if you're in the dark fair uh, forest they'll steal your items out of your backpack so you got to be careful with the fairies but there's all kinds of new um, Creatures, that's my spawn, or I need to go this way. There's floating islands. There's all kinds of new and fun things in here that just make it uh, just a little more fresher, just more things to do. A reason to go out and explore. Here's a little raccoon. Hey, buddy. What's up? Little raccoon. You'll find dirt piles. There's another raccoon. There's another one down there. There's this one over here. Uh, so yeah, there's all kinds of new wildlife. Some of it's good. Some of it's super bad. <laughs> uh, here's some bad. Ah, oh, jeez, don't, man. They're little goblins. They're such a pain because they'll chase you forever. Let's come back to that signpost. It's pointing to the way of a village. So I'll have to come back to it check out the village uh, I was here at this house there's nothing in there it's a it's a old barn so I got some wheat um, but one of the reasons I was over here at this tower is because if you clear them out you can own them and you know just call them home and so I wanted to have a multi-level mini tower it's already pre-built that I could just go and use and take over is that guy still following me no he's gone okay um and like i said on the map you can see ooh, it's just, these are probably onions yeah there's some there's wild food out there you can just find now hopefully uh so when you die your body just drops and you can go get your stuff 
transfer my items, come back down, and eat some carrots to get some more health. Um, yeah, no, I'll throw it. So you can see I'm much faster in my boots. Uh, I don't have a shield yet, that's always a problem. Uh, but I was trying to just get... Oh, I killed the container, and the guy's gone. But there's always a uh, loot in, in the chest and these towers. There's always some good stuff to find. Let's see what's up here. So I hear skeletons. Wearing armor, and I don't have a shield. Something stupid. Um... Really want to let's go check out the uh, tower. Or maybe there's some. There's typically a chest near these. Let's go see if I can find some. Ah, a little too fast. Let's see if I can find some uh, something that useful here to help me. I got some gold and an axe. I'll take it. Nothing too helpful. Ooh block of gold. I'll take that too. Uh, that was a waste because I'm stupid. I need an iron axe. Uh, yeah, that was a waste, but there's a house up here. Let's go see what's up at the house. Looks like just more people that I could feed and uh, let's see if let's try it. What do you got? What do you got there? Crossbow? Oh yeah, I got food. I'm still hungry. Need more food. One more. A little bit more. Nah, he's my best friend ever. <sighs> Come on, dude. Uh, he should come. Let's go take a look at my quest book. Close that. Did I get anything? No. Ah! I hate that. Lightning will strike. And you pick up these sky shards. Um, I guess. I don't know what they do. Gives you a bag. As a reward. So, Smithers Party Bag. I got four iron ingots. That should get me... iron for something. Oh, shield. Let's see if I can, can I make that out of spruce? This is another thing that's super nice about it is <clears throat> it has like a timber mod so that you just cut the base and it all falls down. I don't want to chase up a tree. It's, you know, trees get big here. Uh, so let me take half of that. Oh, I don't even need it. For a shield? I do. Let me take those. Alright, there we go. Now we're in business. Oh, let's make a knife. Oops. Like having a knife with me? It's not going to let me... Cool, 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 cool. And then check my log. So I got a couple more rewards. I made a shield. Give me stuff. And Farmer's Delight, I made a knife. Uh, what do I want for it? Give me... I kind of want... Give me that chicken. And the sun's going down do not like, so I might be stuck here tonight. Uh, yeah, let's keep it there for safekeeping. In case I die again. Hmm. Let's put a bunch of these in there. I, I like having some on me, but 
not all of them on me. Um, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if he'll follow me to the tower. Ouch. He should. kind of warps around wherever he needs to, to in order to follow you. Okay, so now I have... There he is. Now, once you have him as friended, you can right-click on him again and give him special attributes. I can give him some food, uh, give him arrows, better armor, better gear. But um, I can turn the alert mode off, attacks nearby hostile mobs. Uh, I want that on so that he attacks nearby hostile mobs. Uh, because I want him to kind of, hey, come on, dude. I want him to uh, go get those guys. Oh, here we go. Uh, got some food. And let's give him the potatoes. You hear him up there? He's fighting already. <laughs> so I can go like this. Break this down. These chains just kind of out of the way. So he's already fighting them. And I'm getting stuff. And I know from experience. There we go. Uh, I know from experience that there's a chest back here. Grab all that stuff. Just kind of consolidate. Check the barrels. You just never know. Ah, hey, dude, where's my, where's my guy, <sighs> dude? <sighs> he was. <sighs> you can't sleep while it looking at you. What? <laughs> so I'm out of food. All right, here we go. fun again because you suck.
<laughs> got all the way back here in the daylight and it's just fine it's all fine uh, so as you can see you get some supplies I uh, got a smooth stone you can pick these up if you want pick that up if you want I'll take all this I don't think there's anything back there but the real prize is behind this guy Get, and now he wants to get in the way. The real pri prize is typically up here. You get. Um, here, let's take this and turn him off. You get a block of diamond. Or. Oh, I better have the right tool for that. That's going to be a waste. Alright. I need iron. Iron. I need that iron. And all the irons. All the iron. No iron. Two iron on a stick. There we go. Love you. Have a good day. Should be able to get this diamond block. Nice. So that's handy. That'll help. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could just use this tower and just call it home. Uh, I killed all the spawners. Nothing else is going to come here. But my, the goal is to find a space. Um, so far we've been traveling and it's been very hilly. You can turn on your topography and see it's not a whole lot of flat spots. This is the biggest one so far. Actually that is, but it's still pretty ups and downs and I don't want to have to do a bunch of digging. <laughs> I do not want to do a lot of maintenance on this. so. I want to just grab some of this stuff. I want to stop and have to figure out what we really want to take with us. Don't need that. Or the salmon or the beetroot. Uh, don't need that. Or that or that or that. Or cobwebs. Kind of like all that stuff. I want my knife back. I want my block. Let's see if we can give this stuff to Kevin. Where are you at, buddy? Whatever your name is. Let's see if he wears it. Be a little stronger. Uh, I got a golden apple. I don't need books. I don't need anything out of there. I can't get again. I'll take this and the stick and the string and the fish. I can, I can make a fishing rod. And then here, do I need anything out of here? I like the meat. I like that rare ingot, this piece. It's more hay. Eggs, bone, silver. I think the rest of this stuff I can either find or make relatively easily. Uh, one thing you can always do too is see if there's anything down here that I gotta have. I am full. 
alright, there's nothing I gotta have anyway. Uh, and then the door is this way. Uh, just, um, so yeah, let's go back to our town, or my house. I'm gonna run back to the house, drop all this stuff off, and take it from there. <laughs>